Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 3620 Tahoma Street here in Columbia City. We're located inside the crawl space. We have a three inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running up ahead. Here we go. And because of the uh, twists and turns in a crawl space having to go through this way, I'm going to keep the camera moving rather fast. I will roll back slower. Okay, so right here, we've obviously got something going on that's causing debris to build up here. Well, this right here at 70 feet, as far as I'm able to, to get to, I'll do locates to find out where the camera's at right now. And then we'll let it drain out here for a few minutes. All right, I did locate the camera. Ed. This is actually where the line terminates at. This is at a, a tank. Uh, a lot of these uh, more rural towns, they have a, this may be a variation or, or a step system. It's basically like a half septic, half city sewer line. And generally, the... There's a tank that collects the solids, but the, the fluids don't general, don't always go out through a drain field. They drain through a pipe out to a main in the street. So just, it's like a half-half system. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start reeling the camera back here. And we're going to take a look at that belly that's in the line. Again, it, it, the line should be pretty much drained out now. Yeah, this standing water is quite significant here. It looks like the pipe is almost is completely full. Essentially, you can see it goes all the way up to the top of the pipe there. So you've got a three-inch line that's got three inches of standing water in it, and you can see what happens here. It causes all that debris to build up, and uh, if you get accidentally get a wad of toilet paper or something like that, or paper towels down the line, or continue to put grease down the pipe. That stuff will, will build up in this spot right here like crazy and can cause a blockage and a backup. So I do recommend correcting it. I'll put a, a white X right here. Basically, it's from this point to, to the tank or, or to where it, where it uh, hooked on there. Uh, that's where the uh, standing water stops at, so right at the tank essentially. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that here. I'll mention the depth and location here in a moment, but it is on the, uh, if you're standing in the street looking at the front of the house, it's at the front left corner of the property, and the uh, tank lid is exposed. It's where our little gravel driveway is. All right, went out and located here. I marked a white X. It's at three feet, six inches deep. It extends here from 62 feet to 70 feet, so it's about eight feet of pipe. I do recommend a repair here to correct the belly. Uh, it's as, as significant as a belly can get. I mean, all you can do is just make the belly longer. Uh, once you get that much water in there, it's just a big giant water plug in the line, and everything has to try and get it, make its way through all that, uh, which is very difficult for debris to do. I do recommend correcting that. There's a, a vehicle parked over near that spot, which makes it difficult to locate all of it. Uh, I was able to put a, a marking right there where it starts, so they, all you have to do is work your way towards the tank until you hit that, uh, that 90 where it d dives down.
All right, located okay, the camera head at the external clean out here was covered up by a bunch of grass and bulbs that had grown over it. Uh, it's going out the left side of the house, and that's been covered now. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and reel the camera out. We're coming back through the crawl space at this point. All the pipe leading up to the belly is in good shape and draining properly, and that that uh, everything up to 62 feet is functioning properly. Uh, but I do recommend a repair from 62 feet to 80 feet to correct the belly there. Again, there's three inches of standing water in that in that belly. No, it's one of those that needs to be corrected or it's going to cause a, a blockage in the back of it at some point. And then I recommend rescoping to make sure that it was repaired properly.